Yo, what up, man? It's your boy DJ Geo, CFO to Empire DJs, Five Star Empire DJ, man. And this is DME TV. Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out, I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking cause they. What's going on, my boy DJ Geo? What's happening, man? Detox. Yeah, it's your boy Young Bubba Detox. Good to have you here. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for coming and taking your time, motherfucker, with us. You know, um, first and foremost, man, um, I want to know how you started being a DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you started, where you started. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. First, where, where you from? You know I'm from? Saying? I'm originally, man, from Harlem, New York. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I moved down to um, Camden, South Carolina in 96. You know what I'm saying? So I've been back and forth ever since 96. You know what I mean? Um, boom. DJing. In all honesty, you know what I'm saying, I was on parole, you know what I mean? Okay. I had to find something to do. I'm in the club partying, and my man Trav had the club called Pizzazz, man. And the DJ was fucking up, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I, I could do that shit. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he fucking up. So I go to my man Trav, like, yo, I want DJ. And he was like, yo, you drunk. Like, get the fuck out of here. I ain't, I ain't fucking with you, yo. Right, he didn't believe in you at all. He didn't believe in me, real shit. So, like, a week later, man, it's real shit. I went and got my mom's laptop. Um, I paid a hundred dollars for like a little controller, a little turntable joint, mm -hmm. and I went back to the club, called my man outside. I was like, "Look, man," and he was like, "Yo, you serious?" I was like, "I'm serious, my nigga. Like, I gotta do something, my nigga." And he was like, "Bet I got a high school party coming up. I'm gonna let you do that. I said, if you fuck that up, I ain't fucking with you no more, you know." But shit, I killed that shit, and I ain't looked back since. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You went for it. That's what's up. Yeah, okay. that was like 2011. Word. Word. And you be going strong. That's seven years right there. Strong. Let's give it up for seven years. You know what I'm saying? Strong. Hell yeah. Word. For sure. Damn, mom. Um, what inspires you? I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, I, I, I can see you got a competitive spirit. Obviously, by just that one story, mm -hmm. I can tell how determined you are to prove people wrong. And and that's so important because that means your grind, it, it'll never stop. Because, you know what I'm saying? You always feel like you got something to prove even if you don't. You feel what I'm saying? But, yeah, I feel you. But but then but then you know what I mean like it's like what inspires you because for me and my music I mean everybody can say you know you know it's it's for you know the things you go through and people but you know it, I mean it's it's, it's also it, this shit is also a job it's a career yeah. you feel what I'm saying so it's something you want to do it ain't just because the ha ha everything it's it's because the benefits too you know yeah, what I'm saying the and, and the lifestyle and shit it's what you're accustomed to it's what you want to do I think it's the fact that I guess when I started like like I said motherfuckers you know. From being in the street, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was street, niggas out here hustling, you know right, what I'm saying? Exactly. Niggas was hustling. My PO was about to violate me and shit. So when I'm telling my homies like, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to DJ, they, they laughing like, fuck you mean you about to DJ? Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, nah, I'm about to DJ. They're like, nah. So I guess to prove motherfuckers wrong, like I can't do it, I'm about to show you that I could. Mm -hmm. And then once I got started, I just fell in love with this shit, like, fuck it. I'm here now. You know? You know what I'm saying? It was a battle back in the day too. I ain't gonna mention that DJ name, but I battled that nigga with a laptop. And he had a whole fucking JBL system and everything. Damn. And he won. He was supposed to win. Right. But it's the fact that motherfuckers came to me later on and was like, "Yo, you did your thing though. Like we just couldn't hear you because that nigga speakers was loud as a motherfucker. You know what Damn. I mean? So, so so they said when y'all battle, when y'all battle, they didn't give y'all like your chance, his chance, or wasn't like that. It nah, was, it was just like, yo, I turned up and he just like. Turned all the way up. <laughs> so, he, he already you know what I'm saying? Was. He, he, he was yeah, playing he, with Yeah, he, knew, he came to cut my motherfucking head off. Like, y'all ain't mad at him about that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't mad about that. But he was like, the people that was closer to my speakers was jamming, but right. I could hear him over here too. I'm like, God damn, like, can't win this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. that shit was fun though. I had a ball. But yeah, I don't like that nigga though now though. But Where? Well, um, yeah. well, they ain't gotta edit that. I don't like that nigga. You heard that? You don't know like that nigga. You don't like that. I don't like that nigga. It, but, but anyway, yeah, spe speaking on um, um, your veterancy and everything in the game, um, you know, who you affiliated with, you know, what you got going on, you know, shout out some artists you done did something with, you know oh, what I'm saying, man. people you want to work with, people you fucking with, things you got going on, you know, we want to hear it all. Here in DME TV, you know, starting right now, you know what I'm saying, we getting, Yo. you know, we want to know everything, man, you know what I'm saying, this is the first stop before... But, but, but before you get up there, you got to come through DME TV. <laughs> so if you sitting beside me in an interview, you get what I'm saying? That's a big thing. I want y'all to know. Never know what's in the duffel. Way too much flex, flex. not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was.
was knee deep in the struggle yeah. But now they looking cause they never know what's in the dump